Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. I am about to make some lasagna and I figured I would just pull out the camera really quick and then we can cook together. So I got this recipe from a different channel which I will link down below. I love their channel, I love their recipes and this is one of my all time favorites. I like to make this usually like once a month or once every other month because it's just such a comfort food and then the leftovers are the best part. So it's like three o'clock right now so let's start cooking because I'm hoping to get this done by five. But before we start cooking, gotta get some wine. <laughs> I've actually really been loving this one, it's really good. And yes, I'm going to add some, I was gonna say some glass, some ice to my glass. Okay, now we can start cooking. Cheers. So first you're gonna just take some olive oil. I already have my pan coated with some of this. I'm just gonna chop up some onion and a red pepper. I'm just gonna saute that on the stovetop for a little bit. For pasta today, I'm gonna be using just whole grain pasta. And then for the meat, I like the Beyond Meat, specifically for lasagna only. Like I don't use this for spaghetti or for tacos. I really only use this for lasagna because I feel like the texture and the consistency is the best with this meal. And then for sauce, this is my favorite and it's just the Rouse Marinara. Of course, gotta get some good seasonings for the lasagna. Garlic salt, always. Garlic powder, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper. Okay, so after the veggies saute for a little bit, then you can go ahead and add your meat. Looks like dog food, but I promise it is so good once you season and add the sauce. So I just cooked this on the stove top for like five to seven minutes and then I have my pot of water over here and just getting that ready for the pasta. So now after you cook this for about five to seven minutes, you can add your marinara sauce. Okay, so this is pretty much all done. So now we can start on the ricotta cheese. For this vegan ricotta, it is so easy. All you're gonna need is one cup of boiled or soaked cashews drained. Then you're gonna need a block of tofu. Then add some lemon juice. I just kind of eyeball it, but you could do about two tablespoons. I'm gonna do half a cup of nutritional yeast, a dash of almond milk, a dash of olive oil. And this is where you go crazy and you can just season your ricotta cheese to your liking. So now we can assemble the lasagna. So I'm gonna start with the first layer, which is just the pasta. And for cheese, I'm gonna add mozzarella. And this is another really good vegan cheese brand. It's Violife. I usually find this at Wegmans, Whole Foods, Giant. And I'm just gonna add a layer of cheese and then we'll add the meat. And this cheese is good too because it actually melts. I know the Daya cheese is like one of like the most hated cheeses in the vegan community, but I think it's gotten better over the years, honestly. So, but this is a really good option as well. So we're adding more cheese on top. This is the final layer. Okay, so this is the last layer. I added the meat and then this is just the last layer of cheese. I ran out of that BioLife cheese, so I'm just using a little bit of this Parmesan because this is all that I have. But normally I just like to use mozzarella, but we are improvising a little bit here because this is all that I have on hand at the moment. But this is really good. So now I'm just gonna pop this in the oven for about 20 minutes at 375. sunset tonight and the lasagna is almost done so perfect timing and the lasagna is all done it looks so good now we're about to watch power specifically ghost Right? That's what it's called? Yeah. Ghost. Yep. So it is the next day. We are actually at Hay Creek. 
so Hector had off today and we wanted to just kind of do something together and just relax. So we decided to come here. This is one of our favorite places to hike and we brought Bernard. It is such a beautiful day out. It is a little cold, but I think it's like 50 degrees. So for us, that's like perfect hiking weather. Look at the horses, Bernard. Hello. They're beautiful. Hi, Matthew. You are prettier handsome. Hi. Aww. They are so beautiful. The horses. Hector's going to try to go all the way across. He's the daredevil. You got it. Oh, so that's how you can go on the other side. Bernard's like, I am not doing that. Bernard would never do that because he hates the water so much. I know. He might do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally the perfect day today to be here. I love it. I was telling them it's like 50 degrees, but mm -hmm. I know people who are like from California, to them it's like freezing. Mm -hmm. Right. Because right. at one time I mentioned it and somebody was like, uh, when it's like 65 in California, mm -hmm. it's like freezing. For us, that's like perfect weather. Yeah, right? 65? Oh, oh. It is so peaceful here. There's like nobody here because it's Monday. Minus those people that we just saw with the horses, but I love this. We made it to the lake. This is actually where we had our pictures taken last time with Matt and Liv. We were actually on the other side, but we love this lake. We've had picnics here before, like whenever it's nicer out, it's like the best spot to just relax, disconnect. Made it back home and this is what we've been looking forward to. Leftovers. Trays are out, time to grub. Hector has Bob Marley on, it's our favorite. So we are ending the night with Grey's. We started rewatching because honestly, the first six seasons are the best. We did watch before up until like season 12, but after that, we just could not get into it with all the new characters. But when it comes to rewatching, one through six is always my favorite, especially during this time of year. I don't know why. I just feel like it's so comforting. This is our night. And we're about to go eat more lasagna and just finish it up. We literally had it for dinner yesterday, for lunch today, and now we're gonna have it again for dinner. Hey guys, so I am in the bedroom right now and I have a bunch of packages here that I figured we could open up together. I have some stuff that I actually already took out of the boxes because I did make a couple orders during the Black Friday sale So I wanted to show you guys a couple of things I got. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna start with like the new packages And I'm gonna start with this one here, which I think this one is from Sephora So Sephora ended up having a, another sale and I'm pretty sure yeah by the time you guys watch this video It'll already be ended unfortunately, but they had another like 20% off sale Which I was not expecting and of course I was on TikTok and TikTok made me do it But I got this palette specifically. This is the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette it. Look at the packaging. You can see my setup. I'm literally using a step stool and a MacBook box as a tripod. But this palette looked so stunning. I saw again on TikTok, this girl was using it for her whole face and it just looks like a really great kind of practical palette. Like you get a highlighter, a blush, and then like your kind of staple everyday eyeshadows. And I have a couple other things that I purchased during the sale as well. I'll actually put my order right here if you guys are interested. These are a couple other things that I picked up but I have not gotten that box yet. They actually split up my boxes this time. So I think that should be here in a few days. Oh, okay. So this is actually something that I got during the Black Friday sale. So this is from Desi Skin. If you guys watch my videos, you know that I am I'm obsessed with the Gladoka C vitamin C serum. It's my favorite vitamin C. And during Black Friday, Desi had a really good sale. I believe it was like 20% off or 30% off or something site wide. So I picked up two of these vitamin C serums because, like I said, it's my favorite. Like it makes my skin so glowy and clear, and it's just the best. I'm trying to get this open and like I can't. Okay, so this one is actually from Vanessa Ashley, and this was sent to my PO box. Okay, I see some little fuzzy socks. I think this is a little care package. <gasps> This is so cute. I love fuzzy socks. And I think this is for Bernard. Okay, this is adorable. It's like a cute little package. It's like a care package. He also sent some lashes. Like how pretty are these? I love Ioni lashes. Got some little candies here. Thank you. Oh, and some more lashes. Look at this little stocking. I don't know where these are from. They don't have a little like card or anything, but this is what they look like. And then there's also a little sheet mask here. So thank you once again, Vanessa, if you're watching this, you're the best. So this is another Black Friday purchase. So I got a couple of new things from Good Molecules. I have actually worked with them this past month. I got the opportunity to, which was so exciting. 
exciting because I've already been using the brand for a while now at this point and it has become one of my favorite affordable skincare brands. They're cruelty free and a lot of their products are even vegan as well but I picked up their niacinamide brightening toner. They actually had a really good deal during their Black Friday sale. I actually got a couple things like in bundles so this was a part of a bundle. I also got a backup of my niacinamide serum. This is my favorite. I use this every single night and I feel like it helps so much with like the tone and like just the feel and look of my skin. Also got another one of the wake up eye gels. I use this every morning. This is just really cooling and hydrating. And then I picked up the discoloration correcting serum. I've heard really good things about this. If you have acne scars, this is supposed to like help clear and just kind of even out your skin tone. And I also got the gentle, gentle, gentle retinol cream. So I wanted to try this out because I love some of the other products so much. So I'm like, okay, this has to be good. And this is actually a newer product. Okay, let's do a couple more little Black Friday things. So this stuff is not from Target, by the way. I just have it in a Target bag. But I actually want to get rid of like a lot of my makeup brushes that I have because some of them are super old and it's just like it's time for an upgrade, especially eye brushes. So I got the Eye Essential 7-piece eye brush set. This was so affordable. I got both of these for like under $25 during Black Friday. But BH Cosmetics, I'll tell you, they have some good makeup brushes. So this is what they look like. They're just like little eye brushes. So I'm going to actually wash these. And I'm going to use them up this week. I also got the Brunch Bunch 11-piece brush set here. For some reason, I thought this was just all eye brushes, but it's actually face brushes too. There's a lot of good eye brushes in here too because I really needed some good eye brushes like that. Also got a couple things from Dose of Colors during Black Friday. I feel like the Black Friday deals were really, really good. So they had this really pretty like little holiday set and I love the tones in here. We have some reds and like some vampy shades. And this is like obviously marketed as like a holiday lip set, but I was thinking even for like date night, New Year's, or Valentine's Day, these colors would be so pretty. And Dose of Colors has like I think some of the best matte liquid lipsticks that are not drying. So those are the four colors. And I also got a backup of the Meet Your Cute foundation. I am in the shade of 115 light medium. This is one of the best and like my favorite foundations ever. It's super long wearing and has great coverage. And I got another one of the Meet Your Hue concealers. I meant to get the shade 15 and I ended up getting light medium, which is 14. This is a little too light. And for some reason I thought that I got 15, but it's okay. I can still make it work. This is a great concealer. And overall, like I feel like Dose of Color, like their products, they're bomb. There was also a free gift with purchase. So I got another one of these seamless beauty sponges. I've tried this before and this sponge is actually really, really good. Next package that I have here is actually from a small business. So if you guys remember, I mentioned in a previous vlog that I got this sweatshirt with Bernard's face on it, which was so freaking cute. I actually want to get another one for Hector. So during the Black Friday sale, I was actually going to order like another sweatshirt or two but she was completely sold out which is amazing because I love to see small businesses getting the recognition they deserve so I decided to order a Christmas ornament instead because of course it's the holiday season and she has the cutest ones I think she sent me an extra one which is like so kind thank you so much so this is the one that I ordered which is so adorable you guys like Oh my goodness, it looks so good. So this is the original ornament that I ordered and I got Bernard's name on it. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Check out this small business. I know a lot of you guys have your fur babies that you are obsessed with just like I am with mine. So you can get ornaments, hoodies, sweatshirts. She actually sent another one and this is one of me and Hector's favorite pictures because it of course has Bernard on it, but that is so sweet. Thank you so much for this. You did not have to do that. I also ordered, this is something else I got during Black Friday. Flutter in Love, speaking of small businesses, this is another really great business to support. They have really great lashes. There's so many small businesses that I love with amazing lashes and this is one of them. So I actually wore a pair of these lashes from this brand on my wedding day and I love them. They're really great quality. You can reuse them. They're cruelty-free, faux minx. I basically just got a couple different styles that I haven't used before. Actually, this is a style that I've used. I think this was the one that I used on my wedding day. Maria Rose. I got the style Chloe. This is what they look like. So pretty. Just a ton of different styles to choose from. I am sitting on my leg right now and it is currently like pins and needles. Like my leg is asleep and I can't feel it. We have a little package from Colourpop. Aw, this is cute. Little treats, little cookies here. I don't know if they're dog treats or like regular cookies. Oh no, I think they're regular cookies. 
Mmm, these smell so good. I'm pretty sure I cannot eat these, unfortunately, because they are not vegan, but that is very sweet. So thank you, ColourPop. I'm gonna give these to my family because I know they're gonna devour them. All right, so those are all the packages and a couple things that I got during the Black Friday sale. I have a Zoom call actually in like now like five minutes, so I'm gonna go do that. I also wanna head out to Dollar Tree to pick up a couple things that I have planned for another video, and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. It is giveaway time. Rules will be here on the screen. Same rules as always. And I'm gonna send one of you guys a box of it's basically like a mystery box just a bunch of different brands and products so details will be below and i'll pick the winners in a few days good luck made it to dollar tree let's see what we can find hey how freaking cute are these little dishes for rings like for one dollar even this actually matches my office perfectly i love it they actually have a bunch of different ones down here as well They're random but i love these little beauty jars these are perfect if you ever want to like travel or you want to make like your own lip scrub or just like in general i love love to have these around the house okay this is what i have so far not very exciting just browsing around right now seeing what else i find i love coming here and just like <laughs> browsing the aisles okay they have fuzzy socks i'm definitely gonna grab some i'm gonna grab a pair for me and hector and they also have these cute little pillows i'm thinking like if you have a small dog how perfect is this for like your dog's bed and they have a bunch of different colors so that's a good find i would get one for bernard but it's a little too small like his head is honestly like as big as this but i love these and they're really soft and fluffy too um yes please I need this and this is something else that i always get from the dollar tree especially whenever i'm sending things out like for returns or anything now i don't get all my shipping supplies and stuff from here but a lot of things are just like such a great deal like you cannot beat it so i'm actually gonna grab a bunch of these mailers okay made it back home pretty much everything that i showed you guys in store is what i ended up getting they didn't have a ton of things i definitely am gonna have to go to another dollar tree to get like everything that i need for the video but i just got a couple little odds and ends and this popcorn by the way is the best if you like salty sweet you need this it's delicious and like these fuzzy socks i'm still like obsessing over them because they're so soft for a dollar i should have got more honestly because we actually need to get more fuzzy socks and these makeup remover towels also looked really good too so i'm gonna try these out i have to wash them first but dollar tree always has like the best finds but yeah that is pretty much it for this vlog i am gonna shower take off this makeup and eat some tacos because it is taco tuesday so i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching check the description box below for all the giveaway details i'm gonna list the winner there when i pick it in a few days thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you very soon in my next vlog bye